Welcome back to another episode of Control the Chaos Mama podcast, life and launch strategy for ADHD entrepreneurs, multi-passionates, and creative rebels. This is the podcast for you if you are looking to gain traction, to finally have some follow through, and to get your ideas out into the world. It's time to do the thing already. One of the best ways that I have found to finally get my ideas out in the world and to serve at a high level is podcasting. And so I know that in our mind, we can think that this is such a big thing, a big undertaking with so many steps that it overwhelms us before we start. And maybe we are looking at the big picture of all these things that people tell us we should do. And so podcasting just seems like adding another thing. I've quickly learned recently that most of my content actually comes from podcasting. And so I'm able to make this umbrella brand where I have these content pillars that stem from the podcast, and then I'm able to repurpose that content for all the places. This has helped me to simplify my process so much. If you're looking to simplify your process and you're interested in podcasting, but maybe it's just so overwhelming, shoot me a DM. I'm happy to help you. And I can direct you to a lot of of tools that I use, as well as just simplify it for you. Sometimes I think we just need to simplify. So in today's episode, I'm going to give you one way that you can simplify this process to take out a lot of the steps that you think might be holding you back. And maybe that is you thinking about the equipment you need, about the time it will take to record a podcast, about all the editing, about all the things, okay? One way that you can simplify it is by doing an episode 100% from your phone. Now, I didn't always do episodes from my phone, and I have the nice Yeti and all the things, and I can add an intro and add an outro and all the things, add music, and and I would gladly share a lot of that thing, those things with you, but I want you to know that good, better, best, you are allowed to take a, a, a second to kind of decide how you want to show up with consistency, and maybe sometimes when your energy is low or when you are low on time or you just can't make yourself do the thing, that you could push the easy button and do an episode from your phone. All right, so in order to do this, you will need an app. There are probably many by now, but one that I use is called AVP Pro. Now, this only cost about $1.99, I think. Maybe it was six bucks. I'm not sure, somewhere around there. And what it does is it allows you to record from your phone, but it records it as an MP3. Now, an MP3 will allow you to be able to upload it from your phone directly to the media library of your hosting site of a Podbean or wherever you, you know, put your podcast through. I use Podbean, and what I'm allowed able to do is once I'm finished recording, I take that recording and I can upload it to the media library. Now, now the audio's there, and all I need to do is add some show notes. I usually kind of um, post it as a draft and then go back into one of my previous episodes to get all the links for how people can connect with me, or you can even add this stuff later. Remember, good, better, best, right? And so, and then I'll add the show notes and all the things. And this later probably will get blogged and, you know, possibly be shared on social media, have graphics, all these things. But good, better, best, just getting it done with your phone 100% can be done in as little as, I would say, 20 to 30 minutes, depending on the size, the amount of your episode and length. So the first step is to know what you want to talk about. Because whenever I do it 100% from my phone, I have to do it in one take. So I don't do an intro whenever I do this, and I don't do an outro. So I simply just say the things that are in my intro. I say the things that are in my outro, and I usually actually have the my um, bullet points a bit more drawn out than in a typical episode, so that you know what you want to say. So you don't have to you know, keep recording and stopping and starting and things. Now, I don't splice different pieces together and make it a whole big thing. I don't drop these down into Audacity, which is a free program that I use when I do edit on my computer. But when I'm doing it from my phone, I do it in one take. I do it, I just do in a 
a brief intro as I'm talking, just like I did today. And then I go through my bullet points and then I do my exit the same way. I just say, hey guys, if you found value in today's show or you learned something new, come find me over on social at Control the Chaos Mama on Instagram or Angel McElhaney on Facebook and let it be, okay? So bullet points, so brain dump what you wanna say. Number two, Break free from perfectionism because guess what? This episode's not perfect. I probably misspoke. I probably have a pause here or there. I probably, I don't know, a kid might run in. (laughs) I do usually reset it if a kid runs in. Not going to lie. And then um, what you want to do is now that you've had your bullet points, you do your on-the-fly intro, say all your bullet points, what you want to deliver, do your outro, then you go to podbeam.com or wherever you host, upload it to your media library, and then add your show notes, and then save it as a draft and go into one of your earlier episodes, grab, highlight, and copy, and post all of the links and things like that so that you don't have to recreate the wheel, and then either publish or save it as a draft. And then you have 100% done an episode from your phone. Just like I said before, if you found this episode helpful or you learned something new, or maybe you are wanting to learn more about podcasting and how it can build you an umbrella brand, shoot me over a DM. I prefer voice because, hello, (laughs) reading versus being able to connect and hear your voice and be able to do it while I'm chasing kids and all the things is just makes more sense for me. Or you can shoot me an email over at info at angelmcelhaney.com. Until next time, wishing you joy and abundance, Angel.